A Big Island teen reported abducted Friday is now home with her family. It's an incredible story, and KITV4's Jeremy Lee reports from Hilo, where a clever deception and some attentive employees rescued 15-year-old Michaela Dabina from her abductor. It was here at Cafe Pesto in Hilo that 15-year-old Michaela Dabina was able to convince her 52-year-old captor to pull over so that they could get some food. Once they approached the host stand, one of the Cafe Pesto employees realized something was off. I, I sensed something was off. Um, she was whispering to him. She didn't do any of the talking, so I assumed that they were just father and daughter. And once they got further away from me, and I, I like started running after them. He, he was like, "No, that's my daughter. That's my daughter." Then I was like, "Oh wait, no, this, this is this is totally wrong as well. It, like this is not how a father would treat a daughter." At least. With the help of others, Dabina was freed. The news of her escape. This is how it was received, 54 miles away. Jubilation at the beach where search groups had been scouring the area for a near 24 hours. That's where the suspect allegedly drugged Michaela Dabina's boyfriend and then took Dabina away at knife point. Relatives praised the quick thinking of those who stepped in. The site of the abduction, 20 minutes drive north of Kona Airport, remained taped off with officers still manning the crime scene at Anaehuomalu Beach. The intense search for Michaela Dabina had few clues. At one point, her cell phone was pinged near Kona Airport. Dabina's cousin spoke with KITV. This is how they described the search. When the news came in, what, what, what was the feeling? Disbelief. I yeah. Um, Just fear. Fear of the unknown, not knowing when we'd ever see her again. And, and as and the just... news came in, it, it got worse. You know, it's like at first it was she was missing and then to hear that she was abducted at knife point, I mean, Things just, just kept flowing in and we just didn't even know how to react yeah. to what was true. I mean, it was very numb the last 24 hours. So, and then when you get the good news. Oh, yeah. tears. Tears of joy, just screaming. Just so happy, thankful for God and for the prayers. We're I mean, very blessed today. Yeah, God blessed us today, yeah. definitely. We love you, Kella. Adding to the anxiety, police issued a warning they believed the teenager was in danger. Dabina's cousins were greeted at times by strangers, many on Kona's side of the island showing support, welcoming the news from Hilo that Dabina's safe return was in store. Hawaii police, in their statement, characterized Dabina as, quote, in good health. The man responsible, 52-year-old Duncan Mahi. He is now in police custody as the investigation continues. Reporting from Hilo, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News.